up there. He's right up there. I mean, I, I think I don't think it'd be a stretch uh, by any means to compare, you know, Rafa and Roger to Pete Nani. From the forehand, and you still, uh, how does he do this? Eight, seven, Nadal. He's got all the key components to, to be, you know, the greatest ever. I would love for my record to stay forever, but um, you just had to accept that the records are made to be broken and he's going to break it. But Rafael's got the firepower, you know, so you, you look at that and you go, wow. His foot speed for his size is phenomenal. is amazing. It's strange, you know, now all of a sudden I'm the favorite and now I'm supposed to win and if I lose I'll be so disappointed I'll cry for days, you know. So these kind of things are going through my mind. And the spin he puts on it, the ball was so low and he just flicks it with his wrist and he serves big and he's smooth. I mean, I love, he's a great athlete. I mean, he's a great mover. And he's he's sort of effortless you know he doesn't seem like he's working that hard out there he just he plays at that level so easily um, he serves big he's the great forehand his backhand solid he's he's got everything and he's got the belief and the guy's he's a legend um, now he's an icon I mean he's got 15 majors that's a lot of majors that's a lot of work um, and he's uh, he's a credit to the game when somebody eventually writes a tennis book assuming nobody beats his record he will go down as the greatest ever I mean, I have to give it to him. I mean, you have the, the you know the critics say Laver and Nadal's beaten him a few times in majors. I mean, you know, he's won all the majors. He's won 15 now. He's going to win a few more here. So, in my book, he is. It's about confidence, regardless of the environment. And um, if your chosen profession is tennis, and if you happen to be a Wimbledon champion, and if you do walk into a locker room, that all adds up to the word aura. If there's any contact, it'll be only eye contact, maybe through the mirrors in the locker room, and there won't be really much of a conversation going on, because both men know how important the final is. You have to beat your inner demons, because they are human after all, even though they don't look like humans on the court. They have emotions, they have expectations, they must have butterflies in their stomach. Roger, first of all, can I just say thank you as a tennis player that you allowed us to uh, be part of this amazing spectacle. I mean, is that, is that any consolation? A little bit. Thanks, John. No, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It hurts. Rafa Nadal. Unbelievable effort. Unbelievable effort. It's the greatest match I've ever seen in my tennis career. I, how in the world did you do that? I don't know. No, just... Very, very happy right now, no? I, I was crying like 10 minutes because uh, for me when he always was a, was a dream and right now. I missed so many opportunities, maybe in the first two, that I paid the price in the end, but uh, Rafa did well. I mean, it's got to be, listen, I know you're feeling so much emotion right now, and I want to give, it, give me a hug, because thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, okay? Can, can I just th say thank you as a fellow tennis player that it was not only an honor to hit with you, but an honor to be part, just watching that match. Congratulations, Rafa Nadal, Wimbledon champion. Thank you very much.